Hey everyone, my name is Maya and I am the Allergic Chick. Welcome to my channel all about living with severe food allergies. If you are new here, I post brand new videos every Wednesday evening. So make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. So today's episode is all about going on a night out when you have a severe food allergy. So I'm talking about, you know, going out with your friends, um, going clubbing, going to bars, and what you can do to make sure that you're staying safe. So I'm gonna split this video into different sections of a night out. So the first thing is getting ready for your night out. So when we're getting ready, I know we like to think about our hair, our makeup, what we're gonna wear, but actually the most important thing is to make sure that you've got all your medication with you. So for the ladies out there, if you're taking a handbag or whatever on a night out, make sure that it's big enough to fit your EpiPens or your adrenaline. There are loads of bags that will easily fit this. Um, clutch bags, small handbags. It's so, so important to take it out with you. For guys, I think it can sometimes be a little bit trickier, but there's always ways around this. Um, you could put your EpiPens or adrenaline in an inside jacket pocket or something like that. So I'm really ashamed to say that I was really, really bad at this when I was at university. I used to take just a very small handbag and uh, take my EpiPens out and, and just put some antihistamine and inhaler in there. I think that was very naive of me. Honestly, I think it's just because I was a bit young and stupid. Um, now at the age of 26, I can't even imagine leaving my house without my medication. So for me to be going out on nights out without it, I can't believe I ever did that. I'm very lucky that when I was at university, I didn't have any bad experiences where I didn't have my medication. So triple check that you have your medication on you for a night out. Also, say if you're going on a night out straight after work and you don't know where you're going to be eating, I would say it's a good idea just to um, either take like some safe snacks with you or have like a ready meal or something before you leave. So if I'm going for drinks or something after work, a lot of my friends, because they don't have food allergies, they can just order food at the bar. Um, but I don't know whether this is gonna be safe for me. So what I do is I buy a ready, like a microwave ready meal, um, eat it before I leave, and then I know that I'm covered and I'm not taking any unnecessary risks. This is something that non-allergy sufferers don't really need to think about. You know, they can just go to a bar and order bar snacks or whatever's on the menu. But sometimes we need to think ahead a little bit. So stage two of the night is usually pre-drinks or a house party of some sort. So typically when I go out, um, I don't really drink spirits and cocktails and things because of a risk of cross-contamination with nut spirits. But when I'm at house parties and things like that, I'm much more likely to drink spirits but still it's really super important to check the ingredients. I'll give you an example. I went to a house party um, a couple of months ago and everyone was doing shots of something called tequila rose. Now I've had tequila before and I've been totally fine. So, you know, I thought, oh, this should be okay. But something in my gut told me to check the ingredients online. There was nothing on the bottle um, about what was in it. So I thought I'd better check. Um, I think I ended up going on the Tesco website and seeing the ingredients and there was actually hazelnut in this drink. So just remember, it's not always super clear um, of the ingredients of spirits. So if you aren't sure when you're at pre-drinks or a house party about what is in a spirit or what is in a drink, don't have it. Or check the ingredients online. Also, I think when you've been drinking, sometimes um, you can be a little less vigilant when it comes to food and ingredients but it's really important to make sure that you stay safe and keep checking. So when you're at a house party or a pre-drinks, there'll often be like snacks and things around. Uh, just make sure that you check the ingredients. I had a really bad experience at university. Um, someone made a birthday cake and it was covered in Nutella and I just didn't think and I didn't make the association that it could be Nutella. I just thought it was like a chocolate icing um, and I had two big slices of this cake very quickly and because I'd eaten so much I had a very very bad reaction. It's very easy to become um, much more laid back and carefree about ingredients checking and stuff when you've had a few drinks but please don't like please please always be checking. I'm very lucky that I was okay after that reaction but I did end up in hospital and that reaction was really down to my own naivety so I would really encourage people to try and learn um, from my mistakes and please make sure that you're checking the ingredients of stuff when you've had a few drinks. 
If you are going to a house party or pre-drinks, it's pretty standard to be taking your own drinks and snacks anyway. Um, so if you are at all uncertain about what's gonna be there, take safe drinks for you and take safe snacks. Right, now we're on to um, actually going out um, to a bar or a club. So the first point I'm gonna reiterate again is to make sure that you have your medication on you. Don't put your bag into a cloakroom, um, keep it on you all night. If you do end up having a reaction, it's gonna be very difficult and stressful for you to get that bag from the cloakroom again. So to stay safe, just keep it on you all night. The second thing is um, to make sure that you're being a little bit wary when you're ordering things like cocktails or um, spirit with mixers. If you have a nut allergy like myself, there are quite a few um, commonly used spirits that have nuts in them. This means that things like cocktail shakers and uh, spirit measures can become a cross-contamination risk. Particularly in um, busy clubs and stuff, they don't rinse out the cocktail shaker or the spirit measure um, between drinks. So I would say if you're in a club, stick to something like beer or wine where you know that there's no cross-contamination issue if that is a problem for you. I'd recommend this for clubs because I think it is quite difficult to communicate with the bar staff due to the level of noise. But I'd say if you're in a quieter bar and the um, bar staff can actually hear you properly, you can ask them to, you know, just make sure to wash um, the cocktail mixer or the spirit measure before making your drink. I've done this before in places um, and they've been really understanding and good about that. If you don't feel like it's easy for you to get that message across, just stick to um, beer and wine or something that has quite a low risk of cross-contamination. I had um, quite a bad allergic reaction a couple of years ago. Um, I ordered a Malibu and Coke um, and they were using like a spirit measure to measure out the Malibu. I think what must have happened is uh, the person before me must have ordered an amaretto or something like that. So my drink was essentially contaminated with amaretto. So if you do fancy ordering spirit, make sure to ask them to rinse out the shot measure or even free pour the alcohol. Again, if you don't feel like um, it's easy to put this message across, I would avoid ordering that drink and stick to something like beer or wine. So another thing that can happen when you go to bars or clubs um, is that you might meet someone and you might want to kiss them. Now, I think it's really important to um, just ask that person before you kiss them uh, what they're drinking and uh, what they've eaten in the last couple of hours. I have had a reaction after kissing someone before because they'd eaten um, some kind of hazelnut chocolate. So it is important to ask. I have been clubbing before and I've been in a situation where I've wanted to kiss someone. Um, I've asked them what they're drinking and they've been drinking amaretto and coke. So therefore, you know, that's a no-go. Don't be nervous about asking um, and bringing this up. It's not a mood killer at all. Um, I know it can feel like that and you don't want your allergies to affect things like kissing, but unfortunately, sometimes it's better just to stay safe and ask. It's actually a really good conversation starter. And it's pretty empowering too. Your health is more important than kissing this person, so it's always good to check. So now we're on to the very final part of your night out, which is late night food. So a lot of people like to go to kebab shops and things like that. Um, for me, unfortunately, that's not really possible because every kebab shop seems to serve falafel nowadays. I'm severely allergic to chickpeas, so if they have, you know, fried up some falafel and then I order some chips and they use the same oil, um, I could have quite a bad reaction to this. So if you are in a similar boat um, and you don't feel comfortable eating in kebab shops and things like that, a top tip would be to prepare something before you actually leave your night out, so that when you get home, you've got some nice food that hits the spot. Remember, even if you have been drinking, it's always important to be super vigilant and ask about ingredients and double check. And if you're not feeling comfortable, don't eat. I know it's annoying when you're coming back from a night out and you're really, really hungry, but again, your health is more important and there are always other options, like preparing something earlier yourself. So that's it for this video. Um, I really, really hope you found it useful. And remember that when you go out, enjoy yourself. Don't worry about things too much, but always remain vigilant and careful. As always, if you do like my content, make sure to like and subscribe. I post brand new videos every Wednesday evening. Thanks again, guys, and stay safe.